Korriban, as we know it now, is an uninhabitable ball of dust and shadows whose primary population, although not listed as such in the Galactic Atlas, are the ghosts who haunt this tomb world that was once a long time ago, as though in some other galaxy far off in the mists of time, the lush, fertile homeworld of a promising young humanoid species who called themselves the Sith. The planet Korriban, located in Sector R5 on the usual galactic planar grid, is located just below the galactic rim's mass equator. The species of the Sith thus developed as mostly humanoid, but with slight physiological differences from the more coreward humanoid species. The average Sith skin color was red, and their cheeks bore muscular skin flaps distending from their zygomatic arches. Often horn-like protuberances of bone would extend from their upper zygomatic arch or around the brow of their subocular alcoves. Sith hair was of a peculiar follicle type, such that it tended to bristle and behave more like whiskers than fur. Despite its remote location from Mercata Prime in Sector G11, on the opposite side of Galactic Hub, the Sith homeworld of Korriban did fall temporarily under the grip of the Rakatan Infinite Empire. The Rakatans invaded Korriban sometime between 30,000 and 28,000 years BBY. Their legions outnumbered and outgunned the then still relatively primitive and tribally organized semi nomadic clans of Sith on Korriban. The Rakatans, who had developed use of what would later be considered the dark side of the Force, and combined it with early starship technology, used their Force powers to enslave all the species of the then-known galaxy, all that is, except at least one. Simultaneous to their use of slave labor to construct the Star Forge above the star of the Rakatans' homeworld system, a time the Rakatans considered the height of their infinite empire. There was a rebellion against their rule on the distant planet of Korriban. The word in their own language, Sithari, means simply overlord. The original Sithari to unify the Sith on Korriban was named Adas, and he led his people in a planet-wide revolution against an expulsion from the entire planet of the Rakata stationed there. King Adas humiliated the Rakata by turning their own technologies against them, but even he eventually succumbed to death during the conquests of Zyost, Malachor V, and Tund. King Adas, who lived over 300 years, though not even his precise regnal dates are remembered now, became the archetype for all the ambitions of the Sith to follow. He unified the Sith, conquered a far more powerful foe, and insofar as the Rakatan Empire fell to a species-specific plague soon thereafter, may have stood alone in the entire galaxy at that time to have successfully stood up against them.